Today I'll be covering everything you need to know about the Oculus Quest in this video. My goal with this video is to keep it straight to the point and as simple as possible. Currently on the screen you'll be seeing the topic at hand with its corresponding timestamp if you want to skip ahead. Or if you're totally new or just want a refresher, feel free to watch it all just play out. Now let's dive right in with what is the Oculus Quest. The Oculus Quest is an all-in-one virtual reality headset that comes with two controllers that provide six degrees of freedom. This means it will not only track just rotation of both headset and controllers, but positioning as well, and will allow you to literally step inside the game or application and provide immersion like never before seen in an all-in-one headset before. The Oculus Quest features four cameras placed around the headset for tracking purposes, which are also used to set up boundaries to avoid collisions while in use. It's hard to explain what the experience of virtual reality is like to those who have never used it before. It's like stepping into a new world in many ways, and I would really recommend trying it out first at your local VR arcade or demo station in your area if possible. A lot of people like to assume that it's the same 3D effect you would get from a movie theater, but it is far beyond that. It looks and feels as if you're able to reach into the world and touch it. Many times you'll see people think they can lean on a table or wall that's really not even there. Virtual reality allows you to explore environments both real and fictional. You can step into the world of Star Wars like never before and stand right in front of Darth Vader as he talks to you. You can watch your favorite movies or TV shows in a cinema-like environment in the comfort of your own home. And that's not even scratching the surface of what virtual reality is really capable of. It's certainly an experience that needs to be felt firsthand and no words can describe. It's a technology that really goes far past just video games. It can be used as a way to connect with those across the world from you in a whole new way. Or it can be used as a way to teach others about history or science by not just reading about it, but showing it to them from a whole new perspective. Now is the Oculus Quest the right headset for me? Well, the Oculus Quest is for anyone who really wants to enter the virtual reality market with the same control and movement currently offered in more powerful PC-based headsets without the need for a PC, the cords, dedicated space, or for those who travel often. You can expect many similar games, applications, and experiences as the PC counterpart, but due to the all-in-one nature, it won't be able to provide every title due to its weaker hardware. Now if you don't have a PC, the Oculus Quest is my go-to recommendation, but if you're only interested in watching media such as movies or TV shows, you can take a look at a device like the Oculus Go, or if your phone's compatible, check out the Gear VR or Google Daydream. Now if you do have a PC that meets the requirements for virtual reality, you have a choice to make here. Do you want the better visuals and larger library, or do you want the freedom of a tetherless system, each coming with its own pros and cons? That decision is really up to you to make, just be sure to consider whether or not you're okay with having some cords running around, and if you have a dedicated play area near your PC. For a PC headset, the choices are plenty. You're looking at devices like the Oculus Rift S, the HTC Vive, and if you're willing to wait, the Valve Index. Each coming with its own strength and weakness, be sure to do some research and see which is the right choice for you. Next up, let's cover the do's and don'ts of virtual reality. Do make sure your play area is clear of objects or pets. While the Guardian system shows boundaries, it does not warn you of anything within the boundary. The last thing you want to do is break anything, hurt yourself, someone else, or your pet. Don't put the headset in a position where it can make contact with the sun. Just a few seconds of contact can be enough to cause permanent damage to the display inside the headset. Be extra careful if you decide to take it outside. In general, you should only take it outside when there's a slight overcast and avoid bright sunny days. Also note that the Oculus Quest needs to be played with some lighting as the cameras need to be able to see for proper tracking. Playing in the dark won't work. Do clean your headset after use. Be sure to use a microfiber cloth to clean the lenses or use a lens pen to get the job done. 
Also be sure to clean around the padding of the headset itself, especially if you're going to be sharing the headset around for others to try. I would highly recommend picking up a VR cover as they are much easier to keep clean, and also suggest getting some sanitary masks if you're going to be demoing it off to a large number of people or a convention. Lastly, don't start off with intense games. It's easy to dive into the most intense, fast-paced titles, but if this is your first time in virtual reality, take your time and start off with something slower. The term VR legs gets thrown around a lot for a reason. Everyone reacts to virtual reality differently. Some will be capable of being thrown right into it, while others need to grow their VR legs over time. If you start feeling nauseous, take your headset off and take a break. Going past your limit can make you feel queasy for the rest of the day, and you should want to avoid that as much as possible. It's a common thing to happen, so don't fret, but this is important to remind yourself whenever you're showcasing VR to someone who's never tried it before. Now before the fun stuff, let's quickly go through some accessories you should consider getting. For comfort, VR covers are highly recommended by many due to being much easier to clean up and providing a more comfortable experience for most users. Prescription VR lenses are a thing for users who wear glasses. Note that the Quest does include a glasses spacer, but having dedicated lenses made for your headset make for a more comfortable wear. There are various providers to choose from, so see which works out best for you. Contacts are also a great alternative. Earbuds or headphones can make use of the headphone jack as the Quest does shoot out sound to your ears. This does mean it will leak sound that others can hear around you. Whether you want a more private experience or an immersive one, this is the way to go. For utility, consider the following. A case such as the official Oculus one to safely put your Quest away and take it with you on the go. The box the Quest comes in also makes for a decent case if you rather wait for more third-party solutions to be available. You are able to play on the Oculus Quest while it charges, so consider getting a portable charger to increase its 2-3 hour battery life. The Quest comes with the ability to cast your headset to a TV through Google Chromecast, so you might want to consider getting one of those so people outside of the headset can see what you're seeing inside. If you plan on showing what VR can do, this is essential. And now for cables. Consider getting a Type-C to USB-A cable to transfer files from your PC to your Quest, as the Quest only ships with a USB-C to USB-C cable. Also consider getting some shorter audio cables for your headphones if compatible. This will really reduce that annoyingness of having extra cables just dangling around. Now let's cover some of the free software you should download because there is some amazing content out there that won't even cost you a dime. First Contact is an amazing short demo to showcase the touch controllers to anyone trying out VR for the first time. It's certainly worth giving a download and is easily my go-to for first introductions to someone who's never used virtual reality. Rec Room is a popular social multiplayer game that has crossplay with desktop, PSVR, and all PC VR users. It offers a variety of experiences off the get-go, and while not all will be available on launch day, they have stated they will be adding them in over time for free. VR Chat is another social multiplayer game that also supports crossplay with desktop and PC VR users. The difference being that VR Chat is a much more social experience that supports custom models and worlds built by the community. Not all of it can run on the Quest, but it will certainly retain its charm and there will still be plenty to see. Poker Stars VR is pretty self-explanatory, and I'm not much of a poker guy myself. That being said, there's a community there if you're ever wanting a good round of poker. Lastly, give Big Screen a download if you enjoy media watching. You can choose from multiple different environments and even hang out with others to watch something together at the same time. This really brings that cinema-like experience to your own home. Now for some recommendations of paid games or apps. There's tons to choose from its launch library here, so here are some of the ones I really recommend you check out. Space Pirate Trainer is a must-have if you like competing for the best score, and with no wires to hold you down on the quest, it will certainly be the best way to play this game hands down. Expect fast-paced action where you'll be dodging bullets in slow motion, and surviving against robots in this frantic arcade wave-based survival that will keep you moving. Beat Saber needs very little introduction, it's more than likely the most recognized VR title out there, and it's all about hitting notes that fly at you with two lightsabers matching both their color and direction of arrows. It offers multiple modes and difficulty levels to play and master. Can't recommend it enough. 
Creed Rise to Glory will give you a workout like no other game, and provides some excellent gameplay to enjoy. It offers a campaign, free play, and online play against others. A simple game for anyone to understand so it's very much so pick up and play. I Expect You to Die is a seated experience, but one I highly recommend if you like problem solving or escape rooms. It puts you in the place of an undercover spy and takes you across plenty scenarios in different environments that's sure to put your wits and reaction time to the test. Super Hot is a unique game where time moves forward as you move around, and is probably the closest you can get to feeling like a total badass in the Matrix. Definitely check it out if you haven't played it before, the quest being wireless is sure to improve the gameplay in so many ways. Vader Immortal is the only game on this list I haven't played yet, but it's a narrative Star Wars experience that revolves around one of the franchise's most iconic characters, Darth Vader. That alone is enough to sell me on this experience and I can't wait to dive right in. Lastly, I want to recommend an application called Virtual Desktop. If you're a PC user, the app allows you to stream your PC to your headset. You can even connect a Bluetooth controller like the Xbox One controller and play your PC games while wearing your headset on. Another really great reason for getting Virtual Desktop is because videos take up a lot of precious space on your Quest storage, but with Virtual Desktop you can store them on your PC and watch them without having to give up any of that storage space on on your headset. There are plenty more games I could easily add to this list, but we would be here all day. Be sure to subscribe to the channel if it's something you are interested in, as my channel usually does in-depth game reviews for VR titles, and you bet I'll be covering tons of quest content coming up soon. Now to finish off the video, I just want to give some closing thoughts on the quest itself. I genuinely believe this is the first major milestone for VR since it started back up with the DK1. To me, wireless is the future of virtual reality, and this is the first headset to convince me of its potential. If you're one of the lucky few who are entering the virtual reality space with the Oculus Quest, just know that I really do envy you. I have been part of the community since the DK1 and have enjoyed the experience that virtual reality brings, but I cannot state enough that its biggest drawback has always been user experience. Having to dedicate a space, own a powerful enough gaming PC, set up cameras, run cables, deal with extension issues, and deal with PC related issues, and then at the end of it always feeling that cable attached to you and restricting your movement has always been a bit of a drag. It's never been ideal for most users and is why you see so many stories of VR headsets being an amazing experience but just not worth the hassle, and going unused for long periods of time after that initial wow factor wears off. The Quest fixes all of those problems and while it may not have the visual fidelity of its PC counterpart, it has something much more important. It has ease of use. Being able to just put on that headset and start playing in a matter of seconds and having the freedom of taking it wherever you go really means everything for the end user. And I can't wait for more people to see the potential that virtual reality brings. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed the video and found it somewhat useful. I couldn't be more excited for this new headset, and you can definitely expect tons of more quest related coverage on this channel going forward. If you enjoy my content and want more, be sure to hit that subscribe button and notification bell below to not miss out on it. Below, you'll see my most recent video, and next to it is what YouTube thinks you'll like most. I hope you have a great day, enjoy your quest, and always keep on cruising.